Hello everyone! Happy Holidays! The first movie that we're going to be watching for December is going to be this new Christmas movie that came out on Netflix with Miss Lindsay Lohan. I remember when I saw the trailer come out, I was like, oh my gosh, Lindsay Lohan? Christmas movie? Oh, it's going to be cheesy. Netflix really wants to be the new Hallmark. There's just something about the holidays that make filmmakers be like, oh, let's just make the cheesiest movie ever with the same plot as every other holiday movie. <laughs> a city girl who doesn't believe in Christmas Me, a scruffy out of town country boy who teaches her to slow down and take life how it is in the spirit of Christmas. Like really, how many times are we gonna see that plot? From what I know about this movie, Falling for Christmas, it's about this rich girl who gets in an accident and gets amnesia. Obviously, I'm not gonna have high expectations because it is one, a Netflix movie, and two, a Christmas movie. I'm particularly interested because Lindsay Lohan, you know, she's had a rough couple years. You know, maybe this is a comeback for her. Maybe she's going the Vanessa Hudgens route with this uh, you know, a Christmas Hallmark style movie. I'm excited. And plus, Cord Overstreet is in this movie. I literally have not seen that man in anything except Glee. So let's just go into it. Without further ado, let's get started on Falling for Christmas. Oh man, I'm like really looking forward to the holiday season. I even did my nails last night to really fit the holiday spirit. I get why. Because the premise is like she gets in an accident, so she is literally falling for Christmas. But she's also falling in love. I see what you did there. He flew me all the way up here in his private jet for Christmas. Your father has asked me to work as your personal assistant while you're here. And this is your glam squad. I think this is like a good role for Lindsay Lohan. She does have the air of wealth. Maybe it's because she used to hang out with Paris Hilton, but... Or what? Or did she have a feud with Paris Hilton? I don't actually, actually don't remember. No, I think she had a feud, but they like resolved it. So, you know, the vibe, the vibe is there. When people look at me, all they see is the spoiled daughter of Beauregard Belmont, the hotel magnet. Wait, I was like wondering what kind of wealth she was. She's literally Paris. Why don't we hit the slopes and snap a few ussies, huh? Post them on Instagram. Snap a few ussies? What? Oh, like pictures of us? I've never heard anyone say that before, what the heck? And it'll prove to your father you could have a career as an influencer too. Yeah, I just want people to remember me for more than my last name. Ooh, is this our main guy? Ah, <laughs> it's Cord Overstreet! Oh, just kidding. That's that. That's not him. I thought he would be like, I don't know, a ski instructor or something? Good run. Yeah, I thought I had you there for a minute, but uh, you got me in the end. Let's go. You can talk while we walk. Wait, so it was him! Whoa, hair really makes a difference. Could not tell with that helmet on. Coco. Um, sure. Mr. Russell, I wish I could help you, but I have my own investors to answer to. I'm sure you understand. Oh, and, uh, pretty classy out there. Letting me win. Well done. Ooh. Already has the dad's approval. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh my gosh, that is an outfit. And with the green shoes. And the glasses are Christmas themed. Oh, hey. Oh. I'm wearing the Yagi. You would think there'd be more on her clothes. That shit spilled. All right, we already got the initial interaction. And of course, it was a bad interaction. How many tropes do you think will be in this? The rich main girl. It doesn't seem like she hates Christmas, but she has a goal in mind, which is to make a name for herself that isn't attached to her last name. That's found in a lot of Christmas movies, cheesy movies in general. There she is. In the coffee shop. Of oh wow, she was cheesing. In the coffee shop of life. Sierra's a venti. <laughs> oh, not a Trenta? So she just a step below. Says a lot about this guy. That's why he's not the main love interest. Scruffy horror man. Christmas setting. It's the holiday season. Snow. There has to be a scene where like she is vastly humbled. Or there's going to be a scene where he's going to show her what real people are like. That life is more than just money. There has to be at least one scene like that. Where are you guys going? Dad, the Christmas was... <gasps> Oh, he has a daughter? Okay, an added layer. A single dad. Ooh, the daughter's gonna help pair them up. Maybe? What's he reminiscing about? His dead wife? 
Why did he push the doll away and then close the drawer? Is there like a significance with that green document that we just saw or? Your mother gave me that in Stad. She said that the little girl reminded her of you. You're only five, aren't you? I remember her perfume and her laugh. Oh, so she has a dead mom too? Oh, she and this little girl are bonding for real. Well, honey, I'll be back by Christmas Eve. Now, I don't want to be disturbed when I'm with Tad. If I need anything, I'll text you. What a bright time, it's a bright time. Did she choose this on purpose? The Mean Girls reference? Time. Little pitchy sweetie, what a bright time. It's the right time. Where's your holiday spirit? Oh, okay. So she's the one with holiday spirit and the guy is not in the spirit because of his dead wife. I follow one of the top off-trail skiers in the country and he geotagged this secluded spot. Uh... That sounds scary. I mean, obviously she's dating this guy, so she has no reason to be scared. But secluded in the mountains, snow, just the two of them, I would be worried about getting murdered. Oh, God! Oh, God! Why is his name Tad? Like the whole time I thought his name was Ted, but it's Tad. What kind of dumb ass name? Of course. Hot roasted chestnut folk right here, okay. <laughs> Are they gonna have like some weird magical component in this? In the, um, I think it was the princess switch. One of the characters was like slightly magical for like no reason. It seemed like they were kind of hinting at this guy. Maybe he's fucking Santa. Sierra Belmont. You're gonna you're gonna do this while she's still on skis? That looks like a like a recipe for falling off the fucking mountain. Oh, that's the gaudiest ring I've ever seen. It's too big, sweetie. We could have it resized. She's gonna move and it's gonna slip off her finger and she's gonna go grab it and then fall off the mountain. I wish- don't- don't tell me. You have to keep it a secret or it won't come true. What, she's gonna wish for a mom? Yes, have a merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on. Who are you fooling with this old man? I guess that is a Christmas trope. Christmas magic. Dad? Dad? Oh! I got you! He got her by the fucking ring. No way. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, well, that also sucks for him. Okay. It could be worse. No. Uh, the way she's sliding. <laughs> Guys. Oh my god, imagine trying to go on a romantic ride and then you find someone's dead body. We have a code 3, repeat code 3, I need ski patrol immediately. Got it. So what about Tad? Oh, Tad's fucking dead. If they don't find him now, he's gonna die of hypothermia. She says she doesn't remember anything prior to the accident. Amnesia. Or something like it. What doesn't she remember? Like, everything? Like, she's a blank slate? Or she doesn't remember getting engaged? I know who I am. My name is... My name is... <laughs> Oh, that's a good way of establishing who you are without relying on your last name. What about fingerprints? Yeah, we took those and we brought her in. They're not registered in our database, which just means she's never been arrested or possibly never even employed. I wish there was more that I could do, but we have procedures to follow when we're dealing with the Jane Doe. Mm, do fingerprints work like that? This is a legitimate question. Don't your fingerprints get like inputted when you're born? Maybe rich people don't like having their fingerprints recorded. We have some cancellations. She could stay with us. Jake owns the North Star Lodge. Oh, the North Star Lodge. <laughs> okay, does it have room service? When she has amnesia and doesn't remember who she is, but she still has that crappy, wealthy girl attitude. Oh, so he's... Okay, he's good. He is conscious. <laughs> Bro, that's... <laughs> that was a toy. Want some coffee? Yes, please, Ralph. <laughs> After my nightmare is your deal. That would be the nectar of the gods. He's gonna be like, no sugar, no cream. <gasps> the fucking Netflix sound. Wow, of course. Oh my god. One of the other Netflix Christmas movies did the same thing where they advertised one of their other Christmas movies. Netflix, you're not sneaky. <laughs> Hello. Should she be going into guest rooms? You're the lady who doesn't know who she is, right? Oh, this little girl looks exactly like Conan Gray. <laughs> so, what are we supposed to call you? Do you have any names you like? You can have one of theirs. Wait, did she just invite this random stranger to her room? Sarah, I like that one. Is this your mom? She died almost two years ago. Sometimes I talk to her picture. I think that's beautiful. One interaction and that little girl is sold. I can make you some eggs. 
Oh, please. I'm perfectly capable of making my own breakfast. <laughs> Has she cooked a day in her life? Bacon? I don't do bacon. Have you ever tried it? I don't remember. Oh, she, and she's gonna love bacon. Something about her. <laughs> do you not remember bumping into her? Oh, well, she did kind of wear sunglasses when they bumped into each other, but I still feel like her long red hair, the way she talks. Oh, her name's Sierra? Sierra, Sarah. Ralph? That's very, um, Scrooge core. Is that your truck? Dead as last night's roadkill. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave a note, head out on foot. Head out on f what? Another cancellation. You're kidding. They're going to an Airbnb instead. <laughs> The real commentary is against Airbnb. If you watch the recent um, horror film Barbarian, that movie and this movie in line when Airbnb is the enemy. You haven't been able to remember anything? No, but the doctor did say that if I did normal things, my memory might come back. What, they're gonna make her do work? What, you're just using her. Bruh, how are you gonna look at this? Look at her struggling to put on a bed sheet and then leave her alone. You're just making her waste time. Oh, of course. And then suds. Dumbass. <laughs> what? How do you not notice the whole bottle went in? I don't think I can make it. Uh, Ralph! <laughs> Oh my god, is she- he's still wearing the nighty, Bro, Ralph did not prepare him for this weather. Oh. 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 Why did that look a little suggestive? Oh wow, Tad is learning a little something about himself. I got big feet. Come on. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, what was that? I was just joking, but perhaps Tad is having a little awakening this holiday season. Sometimes you can't rush things. Just have to take your time. You know, my mom always said, the worst angles will sort themselves out if you just give them a little help. Oh yeah. That little girl is like, this is my future mom. What is this? Oh, it wasn't me, Dad. Look at this mess. I'm sorry. This is the last thing I need right now. Bro, what did you expect when you put her to work? You saw how she was struggling to make a bed. You thought you you thought she would also know how to wash clothes? You some common sense, man. I'd introduce myself, but I have no idea who I am. can tell you I'm pretty much a useless human. Can't do anything right. Thanks for your support. Well, at least we know she's good with animals. Oh, he heard the whole thing. It's been almost two days, and what, no one's found me yet? Like, unclaimed luggage. Girl, it's only been two days. I feel like if it's a week, I would understand feeling a little concerned, but I... Two days? Okay, maybe that's just like a me thing. I have some friends I talk to like once a month. <laughs> Abby gets pretty excited about Christmas. <laughs> Stop. They have to show a clip of this guy looking at this little girl every time he's on the screen. You know, the North Star's been in Carla's family for three generations. Father gave it to us as a wedding gift, and I kind of just- A wedding gift? A whole- a whole resort? People, they, they like the new resorts, the flashy stuff, all the bells and whistles. I still think that there's something really special about the simple things, you know, like home-style meals, hot chocolate by the fireplace. I feel like there is a market for this. People are crazy for the holidays, especially like Christmas. This style, like small style resort, would be really popular. Especially with like the older crowd, but I think even now, with people like my age, it's cute, you know? And couples can go to these kinds of places and it's like quaint. Look at them trying to market, market it as like a failing business. They said the high-end expensive resorts, the enemy. Yeah, fuck capitalism. All right, come on, we don't want to miss the tree lighting. Let's go! Wow, Santa's like, I did that. I created a family. Five, four, three, two, I can't sing. Who told you that? Oh man, even in her amnesia state, she is scared to sing because of her awful fucking boyfriend. Do you think Cord sang a song for the end credits? <laughs> Gotta use Lies' voice after Glee, you know? I don't think I've ever met anyone like you before. Because if I had, I would definitely remember it. <laughs> what a cheesy line. Especially when it's like the trope of like, they have met before. And they're like, oh, I would have remembered someone like you. 
Oh, she's a changed woman. And she knows how to make the bed? Wow. Character development we like to see. Oh, and she's learning how to cook? I hope you like it. Yum. Now that little girl was lying. That <laughs> did not look appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Not cool. Both of you. Y'all hey. have to vacuum that up. Y'all be safe. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks for staying at the North Star and Merry Christmas. You too. Bye, sir. Wow, kudos to these extras for getting that much screen time and lines. Oh, your daughter. She's really beautiful. You're beautiful too. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? Everyone already approves of her fulfilling the mother role for that child. I like to remind myself every now and then how a little family lodge has touched other people's lives. <laughs> Since we might not be here much longer. Oh, when she regains her memory, she's going to help out the business with her wealth. Can you put that back in Jake's desk when you're done? Sure. Thank you. Oh, is that the green book that I saw when he pushed the um, angel? It is! Oh, I was so right to point that out. Oh, she's gonna put the angel on the tree and he's gonna have a reaction. Maybe he'll get mad. This is really beautiful. Why don't you put it on the tree? Um, I'm not ready to put it up. Mm. I thought he would be mad, but that's cool. Okay, well, it would have been out of character if he did get mad. Where's Tad and Ralph? I want to know how they are doing. I want to know if Tad has fallen in love with Ralph even more. How's it going? I just finished my first one. Wow. So you do it like this, and I'm like that, <laughs> and like this. I like how we didn't watch him wrap it at all. Those were someone else's hands, maybe. <laughs> I just don't know what we do around here without Jake Russell. He volunteers, he donates money. I can't even count how many charities he's helped out in town. <laughs> okay, he's just an all-around good guy. Of course, mistletoe. How did I forget about mistletoe? And they're not gonna kiss. The little girl's about to interrupt them or something. You know, maybe we should oh. do this. I mean, what if you're with somebody? I mean, good for him for thinking that far ahead, but I guess that's true. He's just an all around good guy. You don't wanna lose the North Star either, do you? Maybe I do. Yeah, he he wants to let go of the memories of his dead wife. I mean, what does his lodge do when it's not Christmas time? <laughs> I feel like a lot of the appeal is the holiday season, and that's one month out of 12. It's not you. Okay, actually, it is you. Like, ever since you got here, we've made me feel things. Wow! Oh. Things that I didn't ever think I was ever going to feel again. Uh-huh. This place does have a lot of memories for me. I, I guess I'm, I'm just, you know, afraid of making new ones, even with somebody like you. Well, good that he is being vulnerable with her. That's a sign of a healthy relationship. This man has a secure attachment style. I know it's hard. Especially this time of year. Did she die during Christmas? <laughs> that would be so sad, actually. Okay, it's okay to let go. When your mother-in-law is the one telling you it's okay to let go of, like, her daughter, that's how you know he needed to hear that so that he can continue his relationship with Sarah. What is that? Something I've been saving for the right moment. Oh? But you said... I know what I said, but I don't want to do this without you. It's kind of sweet. Little to the left. How about that? And perfect. <laughs> That's crooked. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like the angel falls, hits her head, and that's how she regains her memories. Mm. These are the best canned beans I've ever tasted. Tad is falling more and more in love with Ralph by the day. Hot. <laughs> yeah, they got a little kick. I can sneak up on you. <laughs> oh. That was it? That's all we got from that interaction. I want more Tad. He's kind of annoying and kind of useless, but him and Ralph, I need more. Are you telling me that you haven't seen my daughter in four days? Well, no, but I just thought that she and Mr. Fairchild wanted a little private time together. Call the sheriff's office. That's a knucklehead's lost in the past. Copy that. Do we have any idea who it is? Yeah, that's Ralph. Hold you again. Are you almost ready, dear? Just trying to find something to wear. Oh, she about to give her something to wear? I knew immediately when she came in with that golden box. Right. Took the liberty of picking up a little something for you to wear tonight. It better not be something belonging to her dead daughter. That'd be really weird. That would be really weird. I hope it's not. Actually, no. I kind of hope it is. I brought you a pair of shoes too. Thank you. <laughs> These people are like way too nice to this stranger. I know that's like Sierra doesn't have anything, you know? She's literally a Jane Doe, but they're so hospitable. Ralph, I'm afraid we're gonna have to book you this time. What? This is an outrage, Ted! Boo! Where's my daughter? I don't know. 
I expect at the hotel? No, she's not at the- You're fucking joking. You saw her fall off the fucking mountain. It looks like I'll be calling you dad. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, friend. No, what about Ralph? Thank you, Dad. Let's keep in touch, buddy. <laughs> Bruh, you cannot tell me there is not tension between the two. Damn, she looks good. Alejandra bought it for me. I, okay, so it's not one of her dead daughter's dresses, but she bought her a dress? See, that's what I'm saying. They're like way too nice. Well, it is a holiday movie. These are not real people. Every Christmas movie, they gotta have like a really grouchy, like Ebenezer Scrooge kind of deal. Ghost of Christmas Past kind of shit. Or they're like really jolly, too cheerful. There is no in between. You know what would complete this moment? If Cord was the one singing into her ear. That'd be kind of romantic. Merry Christmas. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Ah, wow, well, it's not just me. Everyone in town is here to support him because she asked them to. You see a gingerbread house, please don't take a bite. It is purely decorative. <laughs> Talking to you, Kenny. No, I kid. <laughs> okay. What was the point of Kenny? Did we have to care about this random man eating gingerbread houses when we got married we could not afford a honeymoon you gave us the biggest sweet in the place for the weekend champagne and everything and you wouldn't take a dime for it so he wouldn't take a dime for it no wonder the fucking lodge is failing you just can't give off free rooms like he gave it to sarah it's his own fault it really be the consequences of my actions thank you so much thank you guys happy holiday my god merry christmas wow she did that. Everybody, would you please give a big thank you to Sierra? I found you at last, darling. I didn't know who you were. I didn't remember. I bet you'll remember this. The ugliest fucking ring she has ever seen in her life. It's too big. I think I told you that, right? Mm -hmm. Tad. She's gonna be like, you let me fall off the fucking mountain. Let's get you back to the hotel, okay, sweetie? A nice hot bath, maybe some champagne. Help. But he didn't even get to finish the speech. I want you to go. I'm so sorry, sweetie, but I have to go home. Come on, honey. Wow. Well, this party turned awkward real fast. Thank you so much. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. Get amnesia again so we can be together. Oh, we, we're having little flashbacks now? <sighs> All right, we now wrap this up. Get to the conclusion. She needs to let Tad live his best life with Ralph. Miss Belmont, are you up yet? I'm oh, and she's making her own bed. Caviar? Actually, I'm in the mood for something different this morning. Yeah, she wants bacon. The press conference is in 30 minutes. You need to get dressed. I am dressed. I am dressed. Yeah, it's Christmas Day and they're not spending it together. Oh, at the press conference, she's going to be like, y'all need to go to this lodge. It was the Best lodge I've ever been to. The owner was so sweet and hospitable. I would like to thank Jake Russell and his family at the North Star Lodge. Miss Belmont, what are your plans for the future? Let me answer that by showing you this. Oh, that's Tad? I thought he was like the hotel manager or something. You must be very excited, Mr. Belmont. Oh, um, excited doesn't come close to describing how I feel. <laughs> that was a good diplomatic answer. I think we've seen enough. He's not gonna see the crucial part where she's gonna say like, actually, I don't want to marry Tad. Guess my Christmas wish didn't come true after all. I asked for a mom or I asked for a family. I wish for you to find someone to love. It's in the same realm, wishing for a mom. That means wishing for someone for him too. It's, it's the same thing. You like her. There's still time, dad. I think you should tell her. He's gonna pop in to the press conference. Or do you think it'd still be going actually? It's the, it's the horse, isn't it? Dad? What is that? Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna gallop his way towards her. What is this doing here? Did you and grandma do this? No. Fucking Santa. I'm really sorry I didn't get a chance to tell you about me and Tad, the engagement. You know, the most important thing to me is that you're happy. <sighs> Unrealistic. In a normal movie, this dad would be like, you're not getting married to this, like, how do you even describe Tad? I, I have no thoughts. That thing. Looks like you're starting to take care of yourself. 
Because she knows how to make a bed? Merry Christmas, North Star Lodge. Thank you. Merry Christmas, North Star Lodge. North Star Lodge? <laughs> wow, Sierra is the true influencer. Tad could never. Jake? We're sold out. Okay, but that's like, that's not gonna last forever. They're gonna see a spike in reservations and then it's gonna die out. And then they're gonna have to close their lodge. You're a great guy, but I'm just not ready for this yet. I thought I was, but I'm not. Ooh, they're gonna do this right in the lobby? That's kind of embarrassing for Tad. It's like, hey, you have Ralph! Hey, Terry, what are you doing for New Year's? <laughs> that looks so fake. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Look, okay, I, I know we barely know each other. You don't you didn't want to make sure that she's actually in the car? Well, that's very flattering, but I have other plans. Happy Christmas. Was I right? Did Tad really? Good for him. What a great Christmas. Finding out you're by. Cool. And Santa's there. Of course. Of course. Oh, I totally thought he would disappear once the dad, like, passed the camera. What a missed opportunity. Alrighty. Well, that was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Cheesy, corny, a tad bit boring, but good for Lindsay Lohan. You know, get that Netflix bag. And she looked like she was having fun, especially like during the bloopers and the end credits. I really don't have much to say. Is it the best holiday movie that Netflix has come out with? No. The Christmas Night with Vanessa Hudgens? That was... <laughs> That was pretty good, not gonna lie. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. That's the joy of having low expectations. Hopefully, Lindsay Lohan starts getting more and more roles and movies, get her career up and running again. I wonder if there will ever be an original Christmas movie nowadays. It's either like the same plot hashed over and over and over and over again, or the remakes. Or sequels, like, I saw a trailer for the Tim Allen's uh, new Santa Claus movie. They're still doing that? My goodness. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next video.